Alrighty, my friends. Well, even if we had a rough time in the stealth beat, the stealth they run went much better. So, let's hope we can get some super OP shit for our second run. Come on, Lenius B. Let's see. Seven randoms. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Slug A. Okay. Wouldn't say super OP, but not bad. Anti bio beam, breach bomb, dual lasers. Okay. Well, at least it's not the slug B. Let's kill some crew, maybe. We'll have to see. Um, I mean, yeah, that's what the ship's designed for, but. Uh, I don't know. Usually I just use breach one and dual lasers. Okay. Yeah, more beams this time with a smaller target to aim at. God. Playing no pause again is reminding me why I, why I just like beams and no pause so much. Squire Gaming, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Only a kill by venting is a good kill. Well, that's a very specific thing to love. <laughs> the ultimate challenge on this ship is to not get crew kills. Actually, we usually want to start this so we can breach shields and then shoot weapons. Then maybe get the crew kill afterwards. Okay. Do I ever speedrun FTL? No, I don't. I've tried it once or twice, but speedrunning is not my thing. The thing about speedrunning is... Everything is so, like, frantic when you speedrun. And... I can't, like, talk to chat. One of the things that's great about FTL is that you have all these little pauses between fights and events that you can talk to chat. And if you're speedrunning, you can't do that. Or I can't do that. Maybe other people who speedrun a lot know how to do that and stay interactive and stuff. But in my opinion, it's hard to stream while, while speedrunning. How do you speedrun FTL? Um, you win, get a run as fast as possible. It's just like you'd think you would be. The fastest run ever, I think, is still that... Uh, stealth B run. That the guy got a pre igniter like Sector One or whatever. So there's there's a whole community for that, I'm sure. Okay, I didn't hit my weapons. That's good. Um. Okay. Oh God, solar flare with slug ship. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay. Shields, shields fire. We got to get that out. Freaking hell. God damn it, I anti bio beam. The engine just like freaking dodged all over the place. Holy crap, what a deal. Yes. Okay. A free flak 2 first jump. I mean, flak 2 is not the good flak, but it's free. I need to heal. Holy crap, I can't turn a deal like that down. You've been trying the Ship Pack 3 from Arsenal Mod. Uh, they are a lot of fun. You should try them. Okay, send it to me in a PM if you want If you want me to play that. I mean, I play viewerships and you could. I could say it's whatever. Just send it to me. Don't just say something. I should try X. It's better if you send me a PM with a link to that. Wouldn't that be akin to rolling dice as quickly as possible? Yeah, it kind of is like that for speedrunning, yeah. 1240 is the fastest. You couldn't manage, manage beating the game that fast. Yeah, like I said, I don't I don't like speedrunning this game. I don't like speedrunning any game because I want to stra strategize. Need to use strategery. And if you're speedrunning, you have to make quick snap decisions that are often not the best decisions in the in the situation you're you're in. That's kind of why no pause is so stressful, because you have to make the decision quickly and without stopping to think about it, so. Good Bush quote, yes. Well, it's actually more of a uh, Will Ferrell as George Bush quote, but. Uh, not sure if worth. I guess slightly worth. Any breaches or anything here? No, okay. 1240 how? Flexi Flux, look up. FTL speedrun on YouTube. I'm pretty sure the run's on YouTube. Like I said, it's a stealth B run where they got a pre-igniter and just were one shot in everybody. One, I think I think it's pre-igniter and hacking. Okay. 
Okay. Frickin' missile. Please don't missile my shields, please. Like I'm gonna try to bomb your shields. Okay, he didn't. And of course, he's got a value point and a double dodge. Great. Ah, oh, god damn it! Don't hit my shields. Okay, good. There it is. Okay, now we're safe. Lock box. <laughs> Please sum up your campaign slogan in one word. Strategery. Lock box. Well, that's some old school SNL right there. Yeah, that 1240 is also on easy. It is on easy difficulty. I'm sure there's different speedrun categories, too. I would guess there's, like, normal and whatever. Would I happen to have the supporter pack DLC for Eratus? If not, and on a completely different topic, would your Steam username happen to be the same as my stream name? Um, I don't know if I have the supporter pack, and yes, Rand118 should be me. It should be, like, my, my old headshot with me clean-shaven. So, yeah, if you... Completely unrelated note. Yes. Completely unrelated. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get the shields there. Yep, I just saw you add me to your friends list, so it looks like you found me. Uh, second time is 1302 by Billy, and it's with Zoltan A. Okay. You'll notice it's with ships that start with OP beam weapons that these uh, speed runs are going. I will take that. Hopefully this is scrap. Okay, stun bomb. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five. I got two, three nebulas. I don't think I get seven, but we can check, I think. No, that's a bad deal. Stop trying to take my fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I might be able to get all those. I'm going to be really low on fuel by the end of this sector, but I have a lot of stuff to sell if I can find a store, which is what I'm hoping for. Hey, isn't this great? This anti-bio beam. Look how useful this anti-bio beam is, everybody. Don't you just love this anti-bio beam? We're going to anti-bio beam. It's so, so worthless, man. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of crew kills, it looks good. Looks good? What? Poor anti-bio beam, yeah. The 1302 run is the number one in category beat the game. No pre-igniter. Ah, okay. Category with no pre-igniter. Gotcha. Whoo, boy, we've got a bunch of weapons to sell. Okay. Okay, this is actually going to be possibly an insane start. This, uh, this anti-bio beam kicking butt and taking names. Oh, my God. Do you have a flak? Oh, what what the hell, game? Seriously? <sighs> How do you have a flak and a shield with a half power thing here, huh? There. Screw you and your flak. Screw you and the flak you rode in on. And your frickin' value point and shields and 100% goddamn dodge. Alright, game, come on. Give me a break with this crap. There we go. Double fi or fire in there, okay. Ooh, we might could get the crew kill here, though. Let's go for the crew kill here. It's going to be slow. I need to get rid of this every time they try to repair it. Nice. There we go. Had to use a couple extra bombs, but I think we're about to sell this breach bomb at the store anyway. One, two, three, four, yeah. All right, let's repair up. There, I used the anti-bio beam one time. That's all you get. <laughs> Everybody hates you, anti-bio beam. Just like humans. <laughs> you say that now about the anti-bio beam, but just wait till you get to kill some giant alien spiders. No, I'm not keeping it for that. I'm going to sell this to hopefully get a, a good flak weapon and a heavy laser or something at the store. Fudge the bio beam. Definitely not protesting against the name. Nope. What? Uh, okay, let's see here. 
So we're going one, two, three, four. I'm hoping this store we're gonna get like a crazy good good weapon or I can get the like whole beam online or something. Okay. Okay. Let me guess, are you gonna be the fourth out of four ships that all have value points and shields? No, okay. Actual not value point and shield, that's a miracle. Not going to use that anymore, so we can get some doge training here. Possibly. Purposely leaving this comment, drawn online to uh, get some doge training. If I was really patient, I would stay here and train, but I'm not patient. And also, that I feel like that's really boring streaming. So, we'll get what we can get in the time it takes to kill this guy. They'll only propose me flak too. Who are you talking about? The store? Oh, the double rewards. All right, store. I already have second shield, so this store, we can just, like, go for broke with upgrades, hopefully. Come on, have some good weapons. Oh, boy, that's some good weapons. Okay. We have some choices to make here. I'm thinking dual lasers, heavy laser one, pike beam. Can I afford that? That would be an insane weapon start. Breach two, I'm not upgrading to a breach two. Even though that is the best bomb in the game. I don't like bombs, because just like missiles, they take stuff. Why not use Flak 2? It's good, Kappa. You would so sell that anti-bio beam too. It feels like a three-step process to maybe get a crew kill. Yeah, it's it's too it's too slow. If it was faster, maybe. So that'd be 155 scrap and then one power. I mean 105 scrap, yeah. We're we're completely changing our build. To something that's going to be insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. We are so stinking strong right now. This is sector one. We have two shields. Dual laser heavy. Dual laser heavy laser pike beam. This is so stinking strong. And you know, I could have probably even been more efficient and kept like the uh, whole laser. But I don't like whole laser. Although I did get Pike Beam, and I do keep saying I hate beams, so. Whatever. I'm going to take this first shot to hopefully get the bomb offline. Beautiful. Yeah, this is an insanely good start. So good. And Pike Beam is a much... So the longer the beam, the easier it is to use in no pause, in my opinion. As longer beams, you don't have to get such exact swipes to maximize the damage. Uh, man, both hacking and, drone, and defense drone would be real useful as the next thing to get. So I'm going to not sell drone parts. I have a feeling we're going to need some drone parts. Civilian or abandoned? Okay, Kenny, here you go. Abandoned Sector 2 is the only abandoned you get. Now Zoltan Shield Advanced Flak. If only, if only. Sadly, you can't get Advanced Flak. So the longer the better, giggity. That's right. The longer the better, giggity. Alright, you have a missile, though. Since I have Second Shield, everybody gets missiles. Is there any chance I get it offline before he fires? I think there's a zero chance, but hopefully we get it off before second one fires. <laughs> Two damage missile. Congratulations on having the most OP crap in early game. That's a six fuel deal. So, who was it? Chuck Frickin' Norris that says you like to count up how much stuff this is worth? What, six fuel is worth two scrap? There's two scrap early, and then these drone parts are like seven or eight early. So, is that 14 plus 12, 28? It's like a 29 scrap deal. It's a pretty good deal, I feel like. I said I wanted the drone part, so we'll take it. She likes to be beamed, apparently, giggity. Snotty beamed me twice last night. It was wonderful. <laughs> Who is snotty? <laughs> what? Okay. 
I was always told that with beams, size doesn't matter. Mini beam 2017. <laughs> you gotta go, Cruel Angel. I have a good one, my friend. Have a. We'll see you later. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, is that is that a Spaceballs quote? Okay, it's been too long since I've seen Spaceballs. Yikes, man! The best weapons early game is what we're fighting right now. If this was Heavy Laser 2, it would actually be much worse because they time out perfectly, but this will fire first. Still really strong. If it looks like it's hitting my weapons... Okay. Okay, that's fine. Beautiful. Um, I say, for more weapon training, I can... Wait to fire them all, but no weapon training when I have no weapons, guy. Can I get a free crew? Ooh, free small bomb. Okay. Even in the future, nothing works. <laughs> all right. This is now a Spaceballs quote stream. Uh, small bomb, really good. Do I want to get online? No, I'd rather save up for missile defense now. Missile defense is our next goal. Damn, empty jump is empty. Small B the uh, pog champ. Can you give me stuff? Free scrap. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Seven jumps. One, two, three. Okay. Looking for stores in all the wrong places. Store for drone control with defense drone is kind of what we're looking for. Tech. Oh, you have hacking though. Oh god, let's hope not not weapons, not weapons. Okay, O2 hack is it's annoying, but it's fine. Only level one. Go, I'm gonna go for this. Do the doge, the doges are good. Nope, no surrender for you, sir. All right, I need, yeah, so I have enough that I could get a uh, defense, uh, I could get a drone control with defense drone if a store had it. One, two, three, four. So it'd be a dive if I have to go up there. Love space balls. It's been too long since I've seen it. And we've talked about this before, but we're talking um, Mel Brooks movies. The one, the one that I can quote way more than space balls is. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Because that was the one that was came out when I was in when I was in high school and watched over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. Thanks for coming by, human. Hope you enjoyed your venting. We hope you'll vent with Rand Venting again in the future. For all your venting needs. Robin Hood Men in Tights is an all-time favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. History of the World Part 1 is my favorite. I can't remember if I've watched that. I remember hearing about it, but not ever watching that, I think. Lend me your ears. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, and that's where if I... One, two, three, four. One, two. So if I want to go to the store and not dive, I would have to go back here. One, two, three, four, five. We'll see what's at the store, and then we'll, I guess we'll decide if we want to dive or not. Blazing Saddles. Yeah, Blazing Saddles is good, but I never liked it as much as uh, Men in Tights. Unlike some other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent. Okay, there it is. It's also got cloaking. But I can't afford cloaking as much as I'd like to. Let's get the drone control defense drone. It's probably the best thing we could get. Now, we definitely don't need to die. We can just go one, two, three, and we're in really, really in good shape. That movie's from 93. Time is passing so fast, I know. We're so old, man. So old. Although Dracula Dead and Loving it is also great. Putting Leslie Nielsen and Mel Brooks into one movie couldn't have been bad, even if they tried. Uh, if he gives me a map, I'm screwed. All right, we got we got scrap for it. 
I don't think I've ever seen Dracula Dead and Loving It. I've seen, I think, scenes from it. That also has Gene Wilder in it, right? Or is that the... That's Young Frankenstein, isn't it? I don't have long-range scanners. Let's go pirate. If we can get some free crew, that'd be great. All right, I need some fuel. All right, four store. It's actually... I would complain about this sometimes, but when I need fuel, it's actually pretty good. I think I might sell the small, uh, small palm's good. If I get it online eventually, it could be very good. I'm going to buy all the fuel, though. Crew would be very nice as well. And we are in a we are in a uh, pirate-controlled sector, so... Hey, free stuff. I will take free stuff. I will probably go through the nebula with level 2 piloting. If you want to see a good Leslie Nielsen movie, check out Wrongfully Accused. I think I have seen that. Way, way back in the day, I think I saw that. Or was that... Uh, well, there's one called Spy Something. What are the spy movies that he did? Um, they're like James Bond. Uh, Naked Gun. But there's also one called Something Spy. Spy this or something like that. I feel like there was actually one with the word, the title spy in it. Spy hard. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, spy hard. Frickin' Twitch died. Just, just wonderful. Okay. Oh, God. I gotta, I gotta vent these guys. Come on. Open the goddamn doors, please, game. Okay, level 2 piloting. Twitch is the new bad RNG. We're having all sorts of bad RNG today, apparently. Twitch died. Man, that's so frustrating. I, like, there's nothing... There, there are... There's one or two things that make me rage harder than anything else with streaming. One of them is just kind of people being douchebags in chat. And being argumentative and that kind of stuff. The other thing is things that I have no control over. And that is things like Twitch crashing or OBS not working. Stuff that I literally can do nothing about. Literally do nothing about. Because I have dropped zero frames. Let me, let me look here. Can I see my stats here? I have dropped zero frames. Stream quality is good. Everything's fine. Twitch lags. I now have to spend an hour editing video if I want to put my stuff on YouTube. It's like, it's just, it's the... Nothing, nothing I have any control over gives me a ton of extra work. I hate that. Just absolutely hate that stuff. Okay, all right. I have defense drone. Oh, Jesus Christ. First guy with a missile also has a freaking burst laser too. All right, game. All right. All right. You just have all the OP crap today. Dude, in time. Okay, didn't hit my weapon, so that's good. Damn, it's too late on that. Uh, I shouldn't have taken that second. Bit of damage there. Freaking Twitch failing and making me have more work is making me get all tilted here. Misplays. All right, I need to go heal. <clears throat> okay. God, why do you gotta be so annoying, Polestar? Why you gotta be so annoying? Twitch is in league with FTL to make me salty, I guess. Because salt equals good content, right? One, two, three, four. All right, well... What else? What would be good at the store? Well, we have good stuff to sell. Oh, crap. Freaking flat cut. I don't have enough power to use my goddamn defense drone, man. Uh. Any doges? Okay, well. Didn't take, uh, we didn't get hit in our weapon, so that's good. 
Okay, that was a good hit. Good dodge. But his freaking flak is still online. Of course it is. Ah, it's burning though. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay. Do, 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 do. Pulsars are the worst. You have to wait a year to leave. Yeah, pulsars are. Well, they're not the worst. They're annoying. I would say, depending on your ship, solar flares are probably the worst. It's the only one where I feel like it's always unavoidable at least some damage on a solar flare. Even if you have amazing defenses, Solar Flare just bypasses them all and can do damage to your ship. Start a fire. So, what do I say is the worst thing? The thing that FTL gives me. Thank you, FTL. Thank you for proving my point. Frickin' hell. What's the worst thing? How about I give you the worst thing? Just FTL things. So I just did Pulsar into Asteroid Field into Solar Flare right there. So that's great. Literally, Pulsar and... Wow, two shields and a value point in Sector 3? Come on, game. Give me a break. There. Thank you for not dodging. Um, I actually need fuel. So, I will take that deal. Hope I get out before the solar flare goes off. Just notice that Steve is no longer just a drone, but a crew member as well. Haha, <laughs> you're right. Damn it, double fire. Okay. Uh, well, I gotta go to the store so I don't sit in the fire and get stuck. So, that thing just caused two, three damage to me right there with that freaking fire. Again, thanks, FTL. Thank you. Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. Okay. RNG is really out for blood. Yeah, it's it's been that way all day. From the moment we rolled Stealth B and died four times in Sector 1... To all the other crap we've had today, our Jesus has been out for us today. Did I win with Stealth A? Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Yes, I did. All we need now is an Ion Storm. Uh, no thanks. Although I have level 2 piloting, so if I get an Ion Storm, that's a possible blue option. So, Alright, what do you got, store? Halberd Beam. I mean, I could upgrade Pipe Beam to Halberd Beam. All right, Small Bomb, sorry, but we're just going all out OP weapon system today, I guess. I also need to repair, so I need to do this. Power. Still don't have enough power for other stuff that I gotta repair. There we go, all right. Okay. Well, we just upgraded our weapon system again, but we still don't have enough power to even use our defense drone and have any dodge or shields. So, the RNG thinks I'm playing Pokemon. Wants me to collect all of the... Whatchamacallit? Um, the hazards. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just take that shot. I was hoping I'd get the... Oh, we did get the bomb offline. Perfect. Burning. Beautiful. Get all the DACA. Uh, I've heard that word before. I can't remember what DACA even means. That's like money or something. Steel. Of course. Of course it'd be free damage. Oh, free fire. Actually, I better do this so that the fire doesn't spread. Clombe or a uh, drone control. Okay. Daka means shooty stuff. It's the sound machine guns made. Oh. Shooty guns make. Gotcha. Used normally for games like Warhammer or anything with machine guns. Gotcha. Okay. People, you, I probably, I've probably been told that before. It's not a word I've ever used. So. As many shots as you can have. Well, it doesn't really make sense with our build. Especially since I just upgraded a beam weapon. But okay. All the DACA. Sure. This game is more about pew pew. Yeah. DACA equals firepower. Some of the sound of a bolter. Okay. All right. I got so many definitions of DACA now. Cool. All right. I really need power. I really need power and engine upgrade. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Wow. Okay. Holy crap. That's a six power weapon system. He can't do damage to me, but... Wow, six power weapons. Oh, fuck you, FTL. Fuck you. The only way he does damage to me... Fucking heavy laser shoots down my defense drone. This is such bullshit. This is my RNG today. And that's why I keep dropping F-bombs. That is, that is just, that is, there's so much bullshit in just, in what just happened there. So much bullshit in that. And it's not even the first time it's happened today, which what the real bullshit is. It's not even the first time that's happened where a defense drone of ours got shot down by a laser which let a missile through. It was not even the fucking first time. Uh, glad you come in right as FUFTL come home. It happens, feels like home. That's right. That's right. I've been dropping the F-bombs like crazy today. I don't want to, but god damn it, FTL. It's, FTL is, is, is mean. Okay? FTL is mean. So, that's why the F-bombs have been dropping. FTL is just a mean, mean mistress. It's the passion. That's why this, what the salt represents. The passion to beat the game into a bloody pulp. That's right, la passion. Man, I'm so strong, but I keep running into ships that hack my weapons. No, hack my shields. That are just wrecking me, man. Okay, that hit empty room. Don't hit my weapons. Okay. Well, my shields are on fire. And he has level 3 piloting in sector whatever the hell this is. Oh my god. I think I'm dead. He just dodged 66% of my shots. I think I'm dead. If he hits my weapons here, 100% I'm dead. He dodged 100% of my shots. GG. And my ship's on fire and I have no doors. That guy just dodged 100% of my last volley shots. And my all my entire fucking ship is burning down. Uh, I think that's GG for this run. God damn you, FDL. We are so fucking strong. We are so fucking strong. And we are just getting shit on for this entire run. This is so dumb. Such stupidly bad RNG. My heel bay is not on fire. The game is literally shitting on us right now. You're gonna call. You're gonna get your dad to call FTL's dad and tell him to stop bullying me. God, I wish you would. I'm so fucking strong and I'm about to die because of this just absolutely horrendous RNG. It's so ridiculous. So freaking stupid, man. I have missile defense, two shields, and six power and weapons. And the game is literally throwing the exact counters to my ship. Hacking in shields with a heavy laser hits my weapons, runs away. Like, there's there's nothing I can do. I have missile defense, I have laser defense, doesn't matter. Game exactly counters me. There's, like, I, you can't do anything when this game does stupid shit like this. Like, there's no counter to the game just saying, I don't care that you're OP, I'm going to bypass it all and kill you. It's like, there's, there's, what is the counterplay to this? The counterplay was not buying Halberd Beam and getting... Dodge? I mean, there's no counterplay to them hacking my shields and then shooting my shields. There is literally no counterplay. That is what players do, not... Wait, did I actually buy an extra weapon power? Holy crap. I have a value point in we weapons I didn't realize. Okay. The counterplay is not doing a stupid play like buying extra weapon power. When the hell did I do that? When the hell did I buy an extra weapon power? What's up, Darth Scrub? 
Well, that was a misplay whenever I did that. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, I gotta go to the store now just to repair. So... What I, it had to be before that. Oh my god, I want that flak so much. God, if I sold both of these, would I be able to get a flak? That is 56. 63, I don't know, 69. Do I actually swap out dual laser heavy laser for halberd beam? Oh man, I want to so bad. I can't do it. I would be dying if I did that. It's not a waste of scrap, but it is inefficient. Uh, flak is never a waste of scrap. However, I probably lose the run if I make that choice. I can't do it. I can't do it. Man, I want to so bad, though. I really want to do it. I know. Replacing three shots to three shots. It's not a waste of scrap. And the reason it's not a waste is because flak hits at the same time, which is better for beams than these that come in at different times. However, it's not inefficient. I completely disagree with you that's a waste of scrap. However, I will agree that it is inefficient. What's up, Scottish Pingu? Flak is never a waste, okay? Flak is never a waste. You can shoot them at the same time. There's no possible way that they ever hit exactly the same time, though. Because both of dual laser shots come in at different times. So I completely disagree with you that they don't hit at the exact same time. It's highly likely that with two shields, you'll get all the shields to be down at the same time. But they don't hit at the same time like Flak does. So I disagree with your statement. <laughs> I stand by what I said. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. The gap will be small, smaller than which EG Burst Laser 2. True, it'll be a small gap. However, we're also playing no pause. So with a Halberd Beam, shots hitting at the same time is actually very important. And of course, he immediately has a beam weapon because fuck this game. Jerera with the, uh, no. Descrub, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. Welcome to the randoms, my friend. <laughs> that got literally nothing offline. Great. I get this up in time? No. Why did I put you on doors? I did not mean to put you on doors. God damn, it's even timing out perfectly. Could I have a little bit of not shit RNG FTL? Just a little bit of not shit RNG. Just a tiny bit of not shit RNG. Please? Please? I'm trying to not get tilted, but you're making my life really hard right now, FTL. You're really making it hard to not be tilted. I think there might be a fire on my ship. Maybe I got it out. I'm really trying not to tilt on this run, but... This bullshit RNG, I'm taking so much fucking damage that I shouldn't be taking this run. It's absolutely insane. Oh my god. Alright, can I, can I have a little bit of good RNG game? Just a little bit. I have insanely good, an insanely strong ship. And you're just, you're just count, countering me with everything. Give me free stuff. Screw you. I wish I could look at the shit before I take that choice, but I'm taking free shit. Give me free shit right now. There. Now I can finally have dodge and defense drone online. Am I hearing a fire? Let me check. Let me make sure. Okay, no fire. Oh, man. This game is making me salty. Oh, that's a great deal. Thank you. Thank you. That's the kind of stuff I need. Selling my missiles for useful things like scrap and not missiles. Ooh, that's a really good weapon system. <laughs> oh, my God. So I have missile defense. What do I fight? Zero missiles. I don't have missile defense. What do I fight? All goddamn missiles. Double ion, really fast-firing lasers. Okay. All right. Um... Since it's double ions, putting somebody on shields doesn't really help. Oh, okay. okay, we have value point weapons. All right. 
Oh, I need some dodges is what I need. Okay. Okay, I didn't get the perfect swipe there, and we take damage. Frick. Okay. God damn it. Two shots into my weapons. God damn you, game. Please hit. Alright, I'm leaving so that heavy laser doesn't hit me after the fight's over. Because, again, for the player, you get hit by shit after the fight's over. Unlike, unlike the enemy who gets a free dodge, which is bullshit and stupid, and I hate it. But okay, finally a guy with a missile. Please don't fail me, defense drone. Please, for the love of God, don't fail me. I should have already fired that. Wasted a little bit of time there. Good job, defense drone. Actually, heavy laser fire charges faster, so if that hits, it's good. Be slightly faster. Damn it, dodge. Okay. Start a lot of fires for him. No fires in any of my system rooms, so they have to be in empty rooms. Check there. Come on, defense drone. Good. Oh, we even dodged it. Check for fires here and here. Okay. Okay, we should be good. Heal. Okay, game. All right. Making me earn this freaking run. Oh, that's great. Free reactor, reactor upgrade. I will take that. All right. And just because I'm paranoid, I'll make sure I checked everything. I don't think I hear any fires, but just to make sure. Okay, we should be good. Man, I don't remember when I bought... I think, I think when I got the halberd beam, I must have gotten two weapon power. Well, I only needed one or something like that, so... That was a pretty big misplay. That that cost me. That cost me some scrap that could have been an upgrade in engines earlier. So, that was definitely a misplay. I'm raging a lot, but I definitely misplayed there somehow. I don't know when I did that. Thank God, another missile ship. It's funny when I'm celebrating getting a missile ship. Two high ions and a missile. Thank you for finally having a crappy weapon system. Double heavy ion. Wow, what a build. Double heavy ion missile. Wow. Good dodges, though. That actually that actually keeps my shields down for a really long time. Holy crap. Oh, crap. Okay, well, at least this missile's offline. Who would have thought? Best ion build, double ion. Double heavy ion. Not actually best, but actually effective if you can't dodge anything. NG homeworlds or NG controlled? All right, do I do I have an NG? I do have an NG, so NG homeworlds could give me the NG homeworlds quest, and I would be able to do it. Normally, I don't like NG homeworlds over NG controlled, but I will take it here because if we can get the titanium system casing and sell it, could be good scrap. I prefer to do it when I can get crew kill, so you can get both both the uh, NG homeworlds ship fights as scrap rewards. You think you'd still prefer double charged ion? Yeah, yeah. Double heavy ion, definitely not good. I was that was a that was a joke. Maybe it's poor taste. <laughs> don't don't say heavy ion's good, Rand. That's in poor taste. I actually could get the stun bomb online. You know what? I will give you fuel. Map shows me a store I can get to in time. Let's do it. Why controlled over homeworlds? I don't like the NG homeworlds quest, and let me tell you why. There, when you get the NG Homeworlds quest, you have one ju one jump that gives you nothing, that gives you the Homeworlds quest. Then you have two ship fights. One of them is the right ship. If you get them low enough, they give you another, they give you the final quest, but give you no scrap. So that's basically an empty jump. So that's two empty jumps involved. You get the other one, you kill them, they're the decoy, you get stuff. So it's two empty jumps involved with the uh, NG Homeworlds quest. That's why I don't like it. The exception to that is if you can crew kill. Because if you can crew kill, then both of those ship fights are scrap gains. So that is my reasoning behind it. How how the hell? Zero fucking dodges, that's how. 100% dodge for him, though. Cool. 
Fucking perfectly timed. I dodge nothing. I hate this game. How the hell do I take damage from this shit? The only way is if I get zero dodges. Come on, game. And it times out perfectly every time. So it timed out perfectly every time, and I got no dodges. Can I have a fucking break, game? One goddamn break, please. I don't have fuel to get the store. I just got fuel, sir. I just got fuel. And I just got more fuel. Rand, you're reading my stuff out of order. Yeah, but you're also saying stuff before I get my crust rewards. So, <laughs> I had exactly enough fuel. I actually had exactly enough before, even when what you said, even when you said what you said, I had enough. All right, all right. I am like salty today. I need to, I need to, I need to calm down here. Um, I think I need to get hacking, honestly. Because they're dodging too much of my shit. Triple missile shop. <laughs> wow, triple troll shop. I could get cloaking or I could try to hope that this store has hacking. Buy all the missiles, I'm not doing it. A wizard has exactly as much fuel as he needs. I'm a wizard, Ari. Definitely need fuel. Definitely need to repair. I'd like backup battery. If I get hacking, I'll have defense drone and hacking. It's a lot of drone parts. I think, I, I think I'm required to have hacking right now, though. I'm going to get this. And make sure we have enough to buy hacking at this next store. Okay. Okay. Buy all the missiles. That would be the worst play of all time. So, no thanks. Hey, that's fuel for missiles. I'll, I mean, missiles for fuel. I'll take that deal. <sighs> Two stores with cloaking when all I want is hacking. Okay. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? One, two, three, four. Okay. I guess I get third shield then. Really wish I'd get, been able to get that flak. The flak would help me with my not being able to get through shields thing going on right now. Hey, what do you know? I have missile defense. So what do they have? A million lasers. Fun game, man. Fun game. Just, just a million lasers. Oh, thank God for a dodge. Ugh. Okay, I think we did two damage there. I'm freaking NG anti boarding right now. Good. If you could get off my ship, that'd be great. Nope, not taking that deal. You're dead. Go to hell, you die. Why not cloaking? Because theoretically, I have really good defense with defense drone and my shields, and I can get third shield. Theoretically, I have really good defense and cloaking health no defense, and I need offense upgrade. Because as, as much as I'm talking about how good my offense is, I am not getting through shields very well. In order to get through three shields consistently, I need either a flak or I need to get hacking. And I was really hoping for hacking, and if I bought cloaking, I would have had one scrap left. So that's why. Go ahead and do that, though. Halberd Beam's good. But dual lasers plus heavy laser is not great, not great at getting through shields. That's why I wanted that. That's why I wanted flak so bad. Okay. I have missile defense, so uh, there just are no missile ships. They just don't exist. I don't have these guys in the right places. That right there is why I need hacking and didn't get cloaking. 100% dodge chance. 100 freaking percent dodge chance. Jesus Christ, game. 66% dodge chance there, and I fired a halberd beam. Because I would assume that he wouldn't have dodged all of my shit. There it is. And I didn't even get a good swipe because I was waiting and didn't get it ready there. And this game's freaking hard. All right, but we did finally get through. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right there. 
Yeah, cloaking was good, and I don't think it was a bad choice, but I don't think it was the correct choice because I need offense, not defense right now. And cloaking is never a defensive, it's never an offensive option, it's always a defensive option. Whereas hacking can be both, which is why I was hoping that second store would have a hacking. That is why I didn't get cloaking. I was hoping for hacking. Sadly, did not get it. Well, actually hacking or a weapon that would help me get through shields. Again, a flak one, like I saw and really wanted to buy, but couldn't do. All right, Astrid Field hopefully will help me with shields. Okay, all right, your weapon system's pretty crap, which is nice for us. Back up battery and put that in there just as soon as the heavy laser's about to fire. There we go. Good doge. Good doges there. Good doges. Okay. Hey, nice. No dodges when you had nobody on piloting. Like you would expect, but it's amazing when things actually happen like that. Nope, no deal. You did. Again, kind of like our, uh, which one was it earlier, the, where I was, like, so strong and died? Actually, I guess that was this run, where I thought I was going to die, but we didn't quite die. We have, we have kind of recovered here, which is very nice. What's your specialty? Piloting? No, I don't need level 3 piloting. Not one that might cast, cost me getting hacking or something. Ooh, Rebel Stronghold's nice, though. Well, it's nice if we can get under construction flagship and not die. So let's hope for that. And I would love a flak right now. God, I'm so I'm so sad that I didn't get the flak earlier. Hey, okay, immediate look around. Okay, let's do this thing. Please board in a yes, yes. Go into doors. You go into there. Wow, that was a triple hit, wasn't it? Oh, God. Okay, at least they took a bunch of damage from being vented. Okay. You guys go heal. Okay. Oh. Nope, you can't go in there. You're gonna die. Please die, please die. Okay. Wow, the delay between the death animation finishing and the fight actually being over. Okay, gotta freaking deal with this. I don't have a fire, do I? I don't think so. I should be practicing my dolphin flip here, but I can't because I gotta... Gotta just make sure I don't die. Okay, that should vent them. Oh, God. They don't even let me lock them out. Okay, all right, it's fine. We got there. Okay, well, that was a really crappy reward. Chain Ion. I mean, it was a lot of scrap worth of reward, but it was a really crappy weapon reward. Chain Ion. Like, my second least favorite Ion, possibly. He checked a message and came back in the flagship with Tota. That was the fake flagship. That was the under construction flagship. And which is pretty amazing because we got that first jump in the Rebel Stronghold. So we're going to have all the jumps. We can just go all the places. Um, okay, so we can come from the back and get max number of jumps. Giggity. Taco Mel, thank you for the follow. What I really, really, really need right now is just a store. If I can get a store, we are going to be looking really good. Because if I can get either a weapon upgrade, because Chain Ion does not count as a weapon upgrade, in my opinion. Or hacking, our, D our offense will be great. Hacking or a another weapon that can help get through shields. 
And I'm not counting Channel Island as that because it's slow and crappy. You have a missile cloaking. Uh, we'll just take free scrap. I will take the free scrappage. Free borders on board. Okay. I actually don't know if they get up there. If he gets on there late, that actually counts towards that. Thank you, Defense Drone, for not being crappy. Oh, nice. We had a, we had the right swipe. Okay, so there. Shift there. There. Haha! -ha, dolphin flip! We did it! Beautiful. Not a good deal. Whew, that guy almost blocked my Defense Drone shot, I feel like. Y'all can tell Pie Boy I, I successfully used the dolphin flip while in a fight. I did it! Dolphin flip. All right. So for those who don't know, this is a strategy using hard mode no pause to move your crew around with borders. So what you do, say we have four, uh, two guys in here. So these guys are taking a bunch of damage, and I want to swap these guys with these guys. And no, in no pause, it's hard to do this, this, this. It's harder to swap them around so that you have different guys tanking. So the way you can do it is you select one group, shift select the other group, or all of them. Then right click, left click, and they will swap their positions around. Uh, Dolphin Chemist, I think, is the one who came up with this, or he's the one who uses it a lot. It's called the Dolphin Flip. It's a way to quickly, in no pause, swap your crew around so that one person, uh, the person who's tanking the damage is, swip is swippy swapped. Swippy swapped around. It's a nice little hard mode no pause strategy. Store. All right, store. Weapon or hacking? That's all I ask. Flak, burst laser tube, you know, something good. Yeah! Yes! I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I can even get it online. Just, I'm just so happy. That makes me so happy. Real slow once more, please. Uh, do you still not understand the scribble? Or are you, are you... Are you trolling? Or do you really... I don't know. I don't know if you're really asking or not. Um... Nah, as much as I, huh, I do kind of want to buy crew. Is my control available here? No. Dealing with borders is actually kind of an issue right now. I think I might buy the Mantis. Oh, store, but it's an inefficient store. But what if it has another flak? Or mind control? I don't want to be inefficient right now, so I'm just going to do this. I don't want to be inefficient, so I'm going to buy crew. <laughs> Probably not the right choice, but... Uh, you actually have weapon training, which means I could put you on doors, which is perfect. Great. Let there be shrapnel, and there were flak. Everyone rejoice. Not trolling, just want to see the, st the step between the shift click and all, all. Oh, okay. All right. So, say we get boarded here. I'm going to move everyone here to deal with borders. However, sadly, scarily, it's two mantis, so they are killing my dudes. So, what you do, select. Make sure you select the two guys who are not manning the system. So it could be these two guys or these two guys. Select them first, then shift-click all of them. And what you're doing is you're moving out and back in. And what happens is, because you're not selecting the guy who is manning the system, the first guys you select, one of those two are going to be the one who goes to man the system. So that moves them around. So the steps are, select two people not manning the system, shift-select all of them, Right-click in another room that's got four people if it's a four-person room, and then back. If it's a two-person room, you can do it the same way as well. You select the person not manning first, shift-click the other guy, two-person room, back in, they'll swap. Hopefully that's clear enough. Ren's been fun, lads. Time for you to go get ready to teach the reproductive system to undergrads. Nice. You're gonna... You sent me a PM for after stream. All right, Ren, I'll check it out later. Is the top part of the nectar is collect, uh, connected? Yes. It is uh, over here. I checked that this one is earlier. I didn't check if this goes across, but yeah. That explained it really well with the Manning explanation. No problem. No problem. And I know it's a little hard to understand sometimes. Hopefully that cleared it up. So one, two. How many jumps do I have? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can get all those over here. So that is the dolphin flip. Dolphin 
chemist again is the one who's I guess known for it. He probably has an even better description of it. You have cloaking and a burst laser three. Well, let's hope I can get some actual dodges here. These ships I'm fighting are just, just, they just have, they just have my counter, man. All right, we only got hit by one. That's pretty good. Didn't time it perfectly. Did get his piling offline. Hey, what do you know? The only thing he has online is the one thing I wanted to go offline. Zero dodges. Great. 40% dodge. Might as well be zero dodge. F you, FTL. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, F you. 40% dodge is 0% dodge. I hate you, FTL. Oh, I could lose a jump if I do this. I've gotten a bunch of jumps. So even if I even if it does double, I think I'm okay with it. Nice. All right. So you in that case, in that event, I think you either lose event either lose a jump or gain a jump. And since I've already gained a bunch from the under construction flagship, I thought it was a worthwhile gamble. And so now I can get even more jumps. So let me get power. Still open to find a system upgrade. Uh Mind control or hacking would probably be the next one we'd want to get. Hey, what do you know? He's running. All right, we got to go all in on his piloting then. There's one beacon behind you. What? Got it. If you're talking about that store, I know, I know, and I skipped it on purpose. Not because I wanted to skip a store, but because I didn't want to be inefficient with my jumps. Efficiency is one of my main goals when playing FTL. The more efficient you are, usually the better chance of winning, at least in my opinion. Or did you mean, did you mean there's one jump behind the exit beacon here? Yes, that's what I've been aiming for this entire... That was the first thing I checked when I jumped this sector. Check to make sure that connected so that I could come in from behind. Giggity. All right, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Again, giggity. Uh, I've already seen two stores, so there's, I think, pretty much no chance I find another one. Although there could be an event with a store, I think, possibly. Quest marker to my map. Two, three, four, five, six. No, one, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do, 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 do. Defense drone. This this will give us scrap, but I think make us take damage. Oh. Oh, it's another quest marker. Ah. Well, so that just cost me a drone part because I'm not going back for that. Well, again, F U F T L. One, two, three, four. That was just kind of rude. There was there were other There were other uh jumps that I could have put that quest on that wouldn't have made me have to go backwards but no not for ftl or it could have you know put it in the next sector since i only had like four jumps left but again god damn it really fuel fuel for a map at the end of the sector come on game can i not get the worst option every single time maybe possibly all right well at least asb is on our team for this event Right, he has to have the perfect setup to do damage, but I don't think he will. Yeah, because Halberd Beam fires first. It's good. All right, ASB, if you could take out his piloting. Nope, nope. How about you do nothing? Go ahead and do nothing. That'll be useful. There we go. Thanks for the help, ASB. Thanks for doing nothing. Now you can hit them since I've disabled them. Go ahead and kill him. Take him. Take, take the credit, so that I can't even get the like weapon training by shooting my weapons at him again. Okay, I didn't get to shoot one more time. Ooh. Okay, that reward absolutely worth. Fighting mantis plus scrap. That was an amazing reward. 
Why did you dodge friendly SB? Because the game is weird. Because normally the graphic is the SB shooting at you, but when it's a friendly SB, it shows, even when it shoots at him, it shows going by you before it hits the enemy, I think. It's kind of a weird. Okay. Um, if I sell six, I will be at 15. I don't have hacking yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I feel like we're still in pretty good uh, drone numbers. Oh, that is such a terrible choice. Those are probably the worst red and worst green sector choices I could have. Zoltans suck late game. They're super OP. And Abandoned Sector 7 is on par with Slug, Slug uh, Nebula as being the worst sector in the game for Sector 7. Uh, I, I can't do... I don't have mind control. I can't counter uh, Lanius Bomber, so we can't do Abandoned. Fighting Mantis sounds like a high school mascot. <laughs> it does. All right. Okay. Man, I can't believe I... How do I have no systems this run? Only system I bought is Defense Drone this entire run. I guess I spent too much on... Um, on weapons this run or something. Investigate. Come join my crew. Okay. Shield trained NG. Don't mind if I do. All right, well, the free crew we have been getting has been really good crew. I mean, I did buy one Mantis, then I got free in, uh, free other Mantis, then and I've gotten three free NGs, so that's nice. All right, we're just looking for stores for systems now. We have our weapons, our weapon built. So many Burst Laser 3s this run. So many freaking Burst Laser 3s. Again, I have Missile Defense. What does the game do? Just pew pew ships all over the freaking place. Okay, one shot is stuff. That's good. Whew! We finally got our doges. Finally got our doges. Okay. Ever get free Zeltons? Seems super rare. Oh yeah, you can absolutely get free Zeltons. I don't think it's as common as getting free um, NGs, though, for whatever reason. Just the way the events are, I guess. So I could get a couple extra jumps if I like go into there and then across. So let's go like one, two, three, four, then across looking for stores. <laughs> Thankful the blue options are better for NGs. Yeah, well, I think the blue options for Zoltans are more often in Zoltan sectors. The and we've talked about blue option choices before. Um, I've often said I think NGs are the best for blue options, but technically I think there are more blue options for, what is it, Lanius and either Slug or Zoltan. But the thing about it is um, the NG blue options, I think, can be in more sectors than just their, their, like their homeworld sectors. So like a lot of the Zoltan... Blue options are only in Zoltan sectors. A lot of the Lanius ones are in abandoned and, and all that kind of stuff. Crap. Did, okay, got it. Zoltan only have two blue options? Is that right? Yeah, that was a bunch of drones. Uh, I don't know that that's true. I think they have more than two blue options. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. Let's let's go. Ahead. One, two, three. They're not even good. There's some pretty good. I mean, one of them is overcharged. Somebody shields. I, I would disagree with you that they don't have good blue options. They might not be as good as the NG ones, but I wouldn't say they have bad blue options. Wow, game. Zero freaking dodges. Give me a goddamn break here. Uh, the overcharge scans and terraforming is not that bad. 
for maybe for maybe extra oxygen fight find life like if it's a blue option that gives you a fight i think that's a good blue option Okay, well, I think maybe it might be the slugs that had the other most blue options. Somebody looked at their wiki and, like, did the numbers at some point. So, yes, I would much rather have NG for blue options, for sure. I don't hate the Zoltan blue options. Um, there's also... I thought there was one that you missed. Can't remember, though. Reconstructive teleport. Okay. Okay. Um... I have the choice of which one of these to get rid of again. Or do I get rid of the halberd beam this time because I don't like beams? Nah, it's just too good. Double flax, so stinking good. All right. Well, I skipped that one flak. I sacrificed the one flak to the R in Jesus. So the game has given me all the other flax. I, I, I approve. I approve. Do I need fuel? It's a sector seven. Nah, I shouldn't need it. Slug and Lanius have a lot. You're checking just right now on the wiki. It's just those two. Really? It's only those two. For some reason, I thought there were more for the uh, Zoltan. It was the one with, I guess, the first one you said, the um, Zoltan Trade Hub. Pay scraps, you don't do battle. Maybe I thought, it, thought that event was better. Good dodge. Do, 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 do. One of my biggest frustrations with playing hard mode no pause or just playing no pause. I can't get my flax perfectly lined up. It makes me sad. Because perfectly lined up Flax is one of my my great joys in this game. You have to do it. You Two, you kind of can because you Q one and then do the second one, rise the other one fires. It's still not exactly perfect, but can't get that auto fire perfect. I mean, I guess if I auto fire, I could. But you can't really do that if you have a halberd beam. Again, beams ruining everything in no pause. It's the beams making it a problem. Just watch that still have another flak one. God, I would be so happy. I would take three flak ones heavy laser over this halberd beam. So, so much. Just because I love... I love not having to worry about beams when I'm playing no pause. Okay. I'm sure that's a fine deal. Don't need my missiles, that's for sure. Three flak ones and a fire beam. <laughs> okay. Shooters on board. Okay. Do do do. Okay, at least there's no ASB here to deal with, so that's good. Do 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 Making sure I get my mantids the kill, the crew kill experience here. Let's see what the other store can give you. You certainly earned a good store with all the RNG. <laughs> Earning. Well, you know, really all I want, I don't need any other weapons. I mean, if they have another flat guy, I wouldn't be mad. But what I really need is systems, like sensors, mind control, basically systems so we give the... Um, Phase one of the boss, something else to hack besides my weapons or shields. Um, this build is scary, though. Makes the five shield slug ship look, look underpowered. This build, I would never say that because they can just dodge all your shots. Uh, hacking with this build would be scary. Wow, no systems, man. I've had a... I've just had a hard time getting systems today. We never got backup battery in that one run. Can't get uh, can't get a can't get a system in sector seven here. This is crazy. So I'm gonna go here. One, two, three, four. Because I could get all jumps if there is a store up there. If there's not a store. I'm gonna go immediately here to check down here for a store. Because I really. 
I don't get systems, that's like my biggest weakness right now. Yeah, it's a really bad store. It's like, what are you complaining about? We just gave you flack. It's true. It's true, but I would like some systems, please. This should one-shot a Zoltan shield, though. Beautiful. God, I love you, Flax. You're so good. Just in case you fail. Whew, almost a one-shot. Mind control would be perfect for boss phase three. Yeah, I, mind control and hacking are really the two I would love. Cloaking would be always good, but those two would be the ones I'd prefer. Because mind control, since, especially since I have some mantis, if they mind control my mantids, that'd be annoying. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and I'd have a single dive. And if I single dive for a store down here, I would say that's worth. Flax, always the healthy choice. Yes, flax. Flax seed oil. Uh, once in a lifetime deal. You know what? Never in your life will you see somebody willing to give you three drone parts for only two missiles. Take it while you can. Wow, I can't turn down that once in a lifetime deal. What a deal. Okay, cloaking, glaive beam, heavy laser two. All right. Have I got a deal for you? Not only will I give you a piece of used chewing gum, I will also give you a paperclip. What do you need to give me? Just $5 million. Nobody will ever offer you this deal in the rest of your life. I'll guarantee it. What is wrong with you, person? It's the worst deal I've ever heard. It's right, but it's unique. Nobody's ever offered it before, and nobody will ever offer it again. Don't pass up on this once-in-a-lifetime deal. See if I can actually get some damage here. Nice. 9 out of 10, Dennis, agree. Always flax after you brush your teeth. Always flax. <laughs> nice. Well played. Well played. Rarest event in the game right there. That's right. Rarest event. Never again will you see such a rare event. Damn, it's not a store. All right. Well, <laughs> I can't. Look at all these empty... Look at how lonely these empty spaces look, man. They look so lonely. All right, well, I'm not going to get Force Shield yet. All right, yeah, I'm not going to get Force Shield yet. Still a small possibility of Sector 8 store, but... God, there, I feel like there's a really high chance of my weapons getting hacked with us not finding uh, any systems there. You know what? I'm going to dive. I'm going to go here and I'm going to dive. What if it's an event that gives us a store? Nope. Okay. Uh, still worth checking, I guess. You ever read about the guy who traded a red paper clip until he was able to trade for a house? Yeah, I do remember that. I do remember that. That was, was back in the 90s, I think. He, like, slowly traded up until he got a house. Got, like, into up to a car and then something else and a house. Yeah. That was a crazy story from way back in the day. I think that was, like, mid-90s or early 2000s or something. Wow, really? Really, you can do damage. Well, you can do damage if we can't dodge anything. That's skills right there. It's more like, um... Is it skills? I mean, I guess skills. Just to think of that. To think of that as a, something to try to do. So if I do that... And we have, like, an immediate store in Sector 8. I'll be punished. So I'm going to hold off. Even though that'll make my dive safer. You leave for 20 minutes and come back to two flags, heavy and a halberd. You're not going to say, awesome, you refuse to congratulate you. This game sucks. Well, I have been complaining because as much as this build does look really strong weapon-wise, I'm missing three systems. I'm missing sensors and any two other systems, basically. Whether it's hacking, cloaking, mind control... Well, those are really the only op options, I think, because I can't get artillery. Okay, that's a really good volley. Uh, it's not. Oh, crap. Crap. His flak 2 still online. Here comes the ASB. Can I dodge? The oh, God, it went through. Oh! Well, good dodges. Oh, we dodged the ASB. Okay, beautiful. Well, then let's kill him for the, for the score. Farming. All right, zero damage. Dive. I'll take that. I'll buy that for a dollar. 
Skills with triple L. Skills with triple L. Okay. It's actually kind of amazing how rare um, systems have been in stores today. Although, they haven't been rare. It's just when I want to buy them, they don't have them. Like the one, the one, what was it? Was it last run where I went to three different stores that had systems when all I wanted was uh, backup battery and none of them had it? So, apparently uh, stores with systems in them are rare. All right, I'll do one jump. If I don't do a store, we'll get fourth shield. It's like thick with a triple C. Great. <laughs> Okay. Good hit. Eat my double double mantids. Eat my double mantids. Wait, no. Mantids eat the double humans. That's what I should say. Get eaten by my double mantids. <laughs> 26 scrap. We don't have enough time. We have to hurry up because if we don't hurry, then we won't be hurrying. And if we're not hurrying, then we're just not hurrying. And we're going slow. And when you're going slow, you're just not hurrying. And when you're going slow and not hurrying, it's just so slow and not hurrying. And we can't have that. All right, game. All right. Sure. Sure. All right, store. If we go up there, uh, I don't think we get any repair stations, actually. Repair beacons on my last one. Amazing. Repair beacons this time. He takes that one over before we get to it. This one's two jumps away from the base. This one I have to backtrack. No really good route here. And the store is probably up top in the sector. Okay, big giant missile. Um, actually, I don't need, like, any shields for this fight. No. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. He only has a single heavy laser, but okay. So long as my missile does its job, we're fine. I mean my missile, my anti-missile, my defense drone. As so long as Steve's no Steve here. Although, something did get shot down. I think, uh... Wow, that's two jumps. So the hacking got through because this thing got blocked by a drone. So that was another we don't have enough time, so I only get 30 scrap. Okay, game. I'm sensing a theme here. Can we change the theme? Can we change the song to something better? Empty jump, okay. Oh, okay, store. All right. All right, store. Systems! Yay! Oh, oh my god! Best store in the game. I can't afford anything because I got Force Shield. It has all the systems, a flak, a pre-igniter. Oh my god. Um, god, the pre-ignited halberd beam would be so insane. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You go for pre-igniter. It's really good for the halberd beam. If I get pre-igniter, I don't get any systems. I really want mind control. I want all of it. I want all of it. I don't think pre-igniter is the right choice. I think mind control for phase three is actually the right choice. And you know what? We're doing this. We can't pre-ignite it, but triple flak one is so stinking good. I think I think I'm go with that. This gives me the counter for phase three. I think we'll go with that. Do I have enough? Yeah, don't have enough power for enough scrap for power. But I'm a maniac. I wouldn't say I'm a maniac, but. Halberd Beam, as much as Halberd Beam is one of the most OP weapons in the game, the main issue with it is aiming it with hard but no pause. This I can auto-fire, 
set it, forget it, and I can micro other stuff a lot easier. So that's what we're going with. Do that tab. Defense drone, ready, power. Plus I get a bonus point in weapons to make up for missing system. Yeah, so this gives us a value point is the other good thing for it. Okay, that's I'll take that hack. It kind of sucks, but I'll take it because it's not my weapons. Three flax is so good, especially when you don't have hacking. Okay, we one shot his shields. That is why we might even get his uh, cloaking offline. Yeah, he doesn't even get to cloak after his first cloak. God, this is so good. He did not even get a second missile volley off because triple flak is insane. This is why whoever they, whoever said earlier that they had three flak ones and lost the run, I was like, how? <laughs> how did you lose with three flaks? That is so stinking insanely OP. What about four flaks? It's the best. It is my favorite weapon system in the game is four flaks. Apart from, you know, something crazy like pre-ignited glade beams with hacking or something, but... Don't judge me. <laughs> Sorry, Paxus. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't judge. Shouldn't judge. But how did you lose? <laughs> All right. Um, so I need power. I wonder how the flak shrapnel gets propelled. Explosives, railgun, spring loaded. It looks it like you see the flak thing push forward. So I would say it's some sort of... I have no idea. Spring loaded. Well, let's let's go with that. Too late on that. Thank God I didn't hack my weapons. Damn. Ah, oh, crap. Fucking fail of a defense drone. Okay, we got that down. Oh, we take damage here. Unless we dodge. Wow. We're going to take more damage from this fight than we do from the boss. Because one fucking missile and our defense drone failed at shooting it down. And that wasn't uh, he got blocked. That was a you're a piece of crap defense drone. We was over here, hit here, fail. F-U-F-T-L. God, defense drones are so frustrating in this game. I, I just don't understand. Did they did they program it on purpose for mis for defense drones just to be able to fail? Because, damn it, I was going for the repair station. The only reason I went over here to get the repair station, punished, take damage, no repair station. Oh, god damn you, FDL, god damn you. So now we can back up battery to the dodge and the mind control. We have to deal with a boarding drone. I don't have anybody else good at weapons, so we'll have to be these two that go deal with the boarding drone. All right, let's wait for our O2 to come back because if it goes in the piloting, we're going to want more time before it gets vented. I think it depends on how much the turret has to turn. You didn't think they could be that fast. Well, it's... If you play Captain's Edition or Arsenal where they have these light defense drones where they turn faster and shoot faster, they could have, subset could have programmed them to turn faster. So they just chose not to for whatever reason. Because to screw the player, I guess. The hell? What? what the hell? I put power. God damn you, FTL. Just, just God damn you. Oh my god, double fire in weapons. One missile gets through, double fire in piloting, and zero doge is left. Even when we're OP, the game is finding the ways to screw us. My god. Alright. See right there, that was 22 scrap by whoever earlier was like, you can get 30 scrap from the boss fight. I'm pretty sure you never get more than like 23 scrap from the boss fight. Pretty sure. Just to screw the player, I guess. That's why they programmed the defense drones to suck. 
I think the logic is that all shots have a mischance, even shots made by drones. I don't know if I like that logic. don't think I like it. To be fair, you're in hard mode. I think you get less on hard. Uh, that's true. You do get less scrap on hard mode. So if somebody did say more scrap, they may have been used to playing on uh, easier difficulty. Definitely a, value, a valid point. Um... Let's get the extra power so we can have all of our dodge. Eh, actually, so we can have the mind control. I don't have value point in mind control with this, but let's go with that. All right, let's do it. We're definitely getting boarded here. I feel like if defense drones were perfect and never missed, the game would be less interesting. The potential for them to fail makes purchasing systems more of a tactical decision. Yeah, I guess so. But, like, we never say... I'm trying to think of a good analogy to that. Like... It's not like there's a chance that Zoltan Shield won't block a shot, you know? Zoltan Shield just always works. Why do defense drones not just always work? I guess that would be my my counter argument to that. Wow, that was some amazing dodges and some shitty dodges for us. Thank God we have a value point. Shields don't ever fail to block a laser if they're up. You know, I feel like I feel like if defense drones job is to shoot down missiles, it would not be out of the realm of possibility that it doesn't fail at its job. No, oh, I don't have the mic. Ooh, and that's on fire too. There we go. We got it. GG cookie time. We did it. We freaking did it. Man o war. The, uh, we were really close to dying, I think, at the beginning of that run when we had insanely strong weapons. So I'm very, very happy we stuck with and got it there. Let's check the score. 50-50, much lower than our previous run, actually, although I felt much stronger. GG against All Assault. That's right. Also used to listen to Man of War as a kid. Is that a band? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a streak I sense? Um, did I restart? I guess that is two in a row, isn't it? No, we're not streaking. Never streaking. If I ever think I'm streaking, FTL is going to make me really, really sad. It's going to it's gonna ran me into Stealth B and then die five times in a row. Maybe if they had a cool down bar you could see or something for the defense run you're talking about. RNGs was there for you. You're heading out, Chuck. Forget good, Norris. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. You rock. The Power Metal Band. I think I've heard of Man of War before. All right. That is two wins today. It's pretty good. All right. So we have time for one more run today. Um, again, quick reminder. Tomorrow we're going to be playing Ar Eratus, Lord of the Dead. I do, we'll have a key to give out. So anybody interested in Eratus, Lord of the Dead, Darkest Dungeon-like game. If you like Darkest Dungeon, you will probably like Eratus. So come hang out for that. But real quick, I'm going to stand stretch. Use Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying the FTL. If you are new to the stream, please do hit that follow. Y'all are amazing. Can never thank you all enough for the support. But uh, quick 60 second worth of ads. When we come back, we'll do another run and hopefully get our third win in. That would be a great, a great day of no pause if I get three wins. See you in a bit, my friends.